Okay, we're going to do a little bit more with trig equations here, and we're going to look at the sine of 2 theta equals negative 1 over the square root of 2, and we're looking for all theta between 0 and 360 that will um, solve that equation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend I've just got an angle, that 2 theta is just an angle, I'm going to solve for that. So I say the sine of what angle, okay, will give me negative 1 over the square root of 2. Well, uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and so obviously it's got to be some um, multiple of 45 degrees, and I'm going to say, uh, and since it's negative, it has to be in the second quadrant or the third quadrant, because the, co uh, I'm sorry, I'm, let me say that again. It has to be in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant because the sign is positive here, is positive here, but it's not positive here and not positive there. So I guess I'm in the 45 degree angle in the um, third quadrant is 5 pi over 4. Notice I'm using radian measure. It's a little easier to do these with radian measure. And the other one is 7 pi over 4. If we were just solving this thing, right? Now, I'm not really solving for 2 theta, I really want to solve for theta. And I realized that I could find more angles which would be solutions to this that I could plug into here if I added 360 degrees to this or 2 pi to this and 2 pi to this, I'd have two more. And you might think, well you better not do that because you'll have angles that are greater than uh, 2 pi or greater than 360 degrees. But not if we divide them by 2, which is what we're going to have to do or multiply everything by one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find two more answers. I've got two answers, and you would think these would do, but I'm going to add uh, 8 pi over 4 to this and get 13 pi over 4. And I'm going to add 8 pi over 4, which of course, eight, remember, 8 pi over 4 equals 2 pi, so I'm adding 2 pi or 360 degrees to each one of these, and I will get 15 pi over 4. Okay? Now I'm going to actually make that pi look a little better there. Now I'm going to actually find out what theta is. I'm going to multiply this by one half and each one of these by one half. And when I do, I get theta equals 5 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, 13 pi over 8, and 15 pi over 8. And remember, 2 pi, or 360 degrees, is 16 pi over 8, right? This divides in, gives you 2 pi. And each one of these are less than 2 pi and greater than 0. So these are the solutions. If I put any of these thetas into here, I will get negative 1 over the square root of 2. But you asked the questions in degrees and you answered in radians. That's what are those correct. angles yeah. in degrees? Do you want me to degrees? fix that? I can get easy. <laughs> I could say 2 pi, couldn't I? I mentioned earlier that I. I decided to answer, use a radian. You should be able to use degrees and radians interchangeably without thinking. So that's one of the mm -hmm. things, okay? Yeah, that shouldn't disturb you, okay, as a student. Uh, the next one I want to do is, um, well, I can move over here and do it. Let's go over here. The next one, I've got it up here on the board here. So we're going to look at the tan of theta over 3 equals the square root of 3. And um, I think this time... I will say I want to find all theta, uh, uh, I'm sorry, less than 2 pi but greater than or equal to 0. That satisfies this, okay? So, um, and this is rather arbitrary, by the way. I might, I might actually, uh, you know, I might say 0 to 4 pi or something like that. But just for the sake of these two, to give you an idea of how to go about this, I'm going to keep it from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi in this case. So, um, what do I do? Well, uh, I take theta over 3, now it's divided by 3, so it's going to be a little bit different. And I say, well, what angle, tangent of what angle would give me the square root of 3? Um, and we know the 60 degree angle, I'll just draw it really quickly here. 1, 2, square root of 3, right? Tangent of 60 degrees gives you square root of 3, so obviously uh, 60 degrees, which is pi over 3, that certainly would work. If if uh, theta over 3 were pi over 3, then um, uh, it would, tangent of pi over 3 would work. And then you might say, well, it's positive, AST, the tangent is uh, positive in the third quadrant, so 4 pi over 3, right, would give you that. If I, took it, if, uh, if I took tangent of 4 pi over 3, that would also give me the square root of 3. 
Now, you might say, do I have to get two more? No, we're going to multiply this every term by three, right? Every expression here by three, and I'm going to get theta is going to equal pi comma four pi. Now, it is true that pi, if I put pi in here and divide it by three and, and take the tangent, I will get the square root of three. The same thing with four pi, it'll work also. But I'm only asking from zero to two pi, so I wouldn't need this one. Uh, but sometime you might need this one. It's not saying you won't ever need it, but we've just restricted ourselves to what theta uh, between 0 and 2 pi will, will tangent of theta over 3 give us the square root of 3, and there's only one answer, and that's it right there. And that's it.